There we go. All right, Mike is actually on this time. Yes, good, okay. <clears throat> Hello, friends, it's me, Doom, and today I'm back, finally, after a few months of vacation, doing things. Hello, Cube. And, um... Uh, we're taking a look at a live tutorial here on how to best make money in Fishing Planet. Drop frames detected. Puh. Am I coming in alright for you guys? Audio and video? I'm assuming so. I'm not getting any more frame dropped frame rate, dropped frames. Yeah, that one. Anyway, we're going to be going after the walleye here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to explain that technique in a moment. Followed by the pike in Saint Croix, Michigan. And that is not a pike. That is a redfin pickerel. See, it's not a not a walleye either, which is what I'm really going after. <clears throat> Give me just a moment, guys. And I'm back. All right. That should take care of any latency issues I have with the broadcast. How are you guys doing? Now, one thing we're going to be doing here um, is... Uh, in order to catch walleye, and I still keep still, still dropping packages, not sure why. Anyway. Uh, basically, walleye are very specific hunters, and they like to go along the bottom of the, uh, of the waterway and try to find other fish, other smaller fish, who are eating the bugs, the worms, and the roots below, and uh, eat them. So... What we're doing is we're trying to mimic one of those fish. And the way we're doing that was with a stop and go off of the bottom. Three, there we go. Actually, I think this one's pretty good. Yeah, no, not quite a trophy, but close. We're going a stop and go three reel at three speed. I come on to work with me. Yeah, there we go. Live tutorial. Shaboop. Okay. Still trying to get this whole new setup kind of under control, so I apologize for any latency or drop packages or packets or whatever they're called. But I was wondering if you guys had any ideas, any suggestions for videos. Uh, if you're not with me live, feel free to go ahead and drop it in the in the comments section below. And I'll see if I can't get around to it. And let's say you do have, and you are currently live, you can always drop it down in the comments. Not the comments, the, uh, the chat window there. And yeah, that would be cool. I love getting feedback from you guys because it tells me what I what exactly it is that I need to be doing. Take some of the guesswork out. <clears throat> I 
feel like my chat has already crashed. That's something I dealt with at the last location, too. After this cast, I'm going to double check right quick. I'm here, you. Yeah, not bad. Pretty steady 3.4. Kind of happy with that. All right, one last time, guys. Give me just a moment. That seems to be... Be back very shortly. I mean, just a sec. All right, I am officially back. Just kidding. Okay, now I am. Dunzo. Now, let's get that gone. I've got everything up where it needs to be. It's been two months or so since I've actually streamed. Mr. Musab, hello. Good to see you again after all this time. Also, hello, Philip. Philip, I'm sorry if uh, you're having some some issues with the stream. I'm trying to fix it so that it uh, is no longer a problem. Hopefully, it's on me and I can fix it. Hello, Bobbert. Hello. Ah, missed it. So has anyone tried the, uh, the, any of the international fishing yet? I haven't gotten around to it. Alright, so like I said, what we're doing right now is we're going after the walleye, as you can tell. Obviously, if I'm here, I'm going for walleye. But, uh, the way we do that is by mimicking their prey. Which is, we're using a narrow spoon, one fourth ounce, number one knot. And we are mimicking the smaller fish that feed on the bottom. Um, usually on the roots, or the bugs, or the worms, or the plants, or what have you, on the bottom of the lake. And we're doing so with a, let's see here, three-speed stop and go. There we go, got one. I 
Now, walleye are not necessarily the most money that you can get from a single fish. However, on this lake, they are the, the highest, I guess, dollar per pound, money per pound. I don't know how you want to say it, but, uh, uh, and well, that being said, they are that and also the easiest to catch. So you're more likely to make more money catching walleye than you are pike here. However, if you go to St. Croix, it's the exact opposite. You're able to make more money uh, in one day going after pike than you are walleye. So, And that's going to be the second stop. After this, we're heading over to St. Croix to finish up the... Uh, filling the, the cavity that is my wallet in this game. And then I'll be staying there to do a few videos, including how to ca how to catch unique, um, oh excuse me, unique blue catfish, which Mr. Masab already knows, and many other things. Hello again, Krista. It's good to see you. In fact, I've got a request to make a one single video on how to catch every unique in St. Croix. And I think that's a good theme for, the, for maybe not the rest of my videos on here, but it would be a pretty interesting little series on basically how to fishing planet on Lake Blank. I hate to say it, but it's also been a couple months since I've played this game as well. So there's a lot of new features that I haven't quite, uh... Yeah. Hello, Hangman! <clears throat> By the way, am I coming in alright? I think I've got everything solved, all the latency issues, yes? I hope, anyway. We're not going to be spending too much time here. I just need to get enough money together to, uh, to head over to St. Croix. They're biting all right, actually. As you can see, I've already got about 50 pounds worth. Oh, dang it. Well, thank you. I do my best. There we are. Ah, great. Excellent. Philip, are you still at, uh, are you still at Emerald Lake? And also, I, I'm just assuming that was you. Hold on. This walleye seems way bigger. Looks way bigger than all the rest of the walleyes I've been catching. And it's only 1.9 pounds. I think something... Something is afoot. The fish was hollow. I knew it. Yeah, no joke. The thing is freaking huge. Ever since the, uh... Oh, what was it? The Halloween competition. I've been seeing oddly shaped and sized fish. Yeah, unfortunately, uh... That's how I'm gonna have to do it. See, this one's way smaller and it's twice the size. Just saying. Oh, don't let me stop you. Enjoy the game. 
But I mean, I'm glad you're here. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> let's see how am I doing that's going to be 53 pounds that's about 3,700 dollars I think you're always doing homework but good for you getting stuff done I think it okay, gives, so what, two grand to come out here for a day? Unfortunately, I sold my Xbox right about the time Wildlands came out. And I haven't really had a chance to, to play it yet. I'm not on PlayStation 4. In fact, I'm on the, uh, the computer. Um... Don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-PS4 or anything, it's just, I don't have one. <laughs> if I were making more money on, on, uh, on YouTube, I mean, I might. I mean, let's see, where are we? About 20 minutes in? Yeah, this would be a good time. I try to do it once every 20 minutes or so, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, here it goes. Let's see. Oh, I gotcha. Um, I really like making these videos for you guys, and it's a lot of fun, but the software to do it isn't free. And,. Well, I promise I'm only going to do this once every 20 minutes or so, so mark me down at 18 minutes into the stream. Um, if you ever feel the need to donate to help these videos come out a bit quicker and maybe take a little ease off of my mind, feel free to hit that little button, the little dollar bill button next to the uh, where you enter your comments and leave me a little donation. Every dollar helps. There, it's done. I'll leave it alone for another 20 minutes. Yeah, I got the license. I've got... That's the one thing I spent my Bitcoins on, is a, uh, a license for here. Because I'm going to be coming back here all the time, because it's good money. So 23, I need to go ahead, after this reel I need to check and see where I'm at monetarily with this load. Ah, another tiny one. Tiny! That's not that bad, but still. Alright, where well, how am I doing? Inventory. Fish keeper, 5,300. 2,000, 7,000. Okay. I'm not doing bad, but I need another about 1,100. 11,000, rather. Before I can head over to St. Croix. Yeah, I should have done the same. That way I wouldn't have to pay 18. Plus I gotta get shiners too, so I might be here for a whole nother night. Yeah. I 
I mean, at least it's, at least it's not uh, striped bass. Is it striped or spotted? It's striped bass in Texas, right? Yeah, striped bass. And I cannot stand it. Got him. Now, one interesting thing about doing this is, uh, unlike some other fish, or fish and lure combos, you're going to have to keep an eye on your lure itself. If it gets a bite, you're going to have to hit it hit it uh, while it's being bitten. Hello, Cedric. It's good to see you. Is it spotted? Right. Yeah, you're right. My bad. In act here in actual Texas, we have we have both, and we have hybrids between the two. In fact, in fact, I'm going uh, uh, fishing tomorrow do a little research to see just what is in a, uh, a local lake of mine I think it's got hooked on the bottom yeah I did oh do you have any idea when it's coming out by any chance Cedric I know someone had asked me that earlier I think it was Andrew yeah February 5th. Oh, it's just a couple of days. All right, good stuff. That's not bad at all. see here same here unfortunately I can't afford the trip to Michigan at the moment so unfortunately I'm stuck here at Emerald Lake doing these little tiny walleye But that's this is part one of part two of, of a two part. There we are. That's the one series. This live tutorial will extend all the way to uh, to Saint Croix, going after Pike. And if you haven't already seen my how to on how to do that, uh, well, you'll get a live version as I try to remember how to do it because it's been a couple months. <laughs> Walleye, on the other hand, I can do in my sleep. I'm pretty sure I've spent well over 100 hours on this lake alone. So just out of curiosity, how into, how into the competitions are you guys? Have you guys done any of the tournaments or competitions? So I notice I've got, I've got a video from the beta all the way way back into the beta nice good job um yeah me too unfortunately like i'll get to 14th um yeah, i got a video from way back in the beta and that's still getting hits even though the the knowledge in it is totally outdated and i've even put up a marker on the video saying so but apparently people want to know how to win those tournaments. I've been thinking about doing some more of those as well. I've only ever won one. Nice. Um, 
And I didn't even win. I got into 10th place, which got me the uh, a share of the prize pool and some X-Series gear. I think it was X-Series float. So in my off time, uh, while I've been gone for a couple of months, I've been doing several different uh, photography and videography jobs. Um, some of you have seen the... Oh, damn it. But missed the bite. Anyway, uh, seen a few of the things I did before I went on break. But, uh, yeah. Just here on YouTube. I've already got such a large following on YouTube, I don't want to switch. Although I know Twitch is better for creators. Well, for streamers, anyway. But uh, most of my revenue, most of my views come in on my recorded things. As you can see here, right now I've only got five viewers. However, yeah, you know. Yeah. All right, guys, quick break, and I will be right back. Uh, uh, let's see, can I leave you with guys some tasty jams? Well, thank you. Uh, the video was actually done by a friend of mine, a former production assistant, Mr. Katz. You catch more fish in the rain. Yes, in the day. Uh, if you continue to, to catch walleye into the day, then... Uh, Oh, then rain does you good. Let's see here. At least for a walleye. Well, thank you. Uh, that's really what I, I wanted to provide, is I watched a whole bunch of other videos when I first started, and none of them actually told me anything. It was just, I'm using this one here, and then we're going to take one of them there, we're going to cast it about, and gay far, and then we're going to reel it in just like this. They didn't actually break it down into how they're doing it, what they're doing it with, and where they're doing it, which is what I do, is break it down into where, when, and, well, where, how, and what with. So... If it's made a difference for you, if it's made more of a difference for you than those videos did for me, then I'm, I'm, I feel like I've done a good job, and thank you. I have an answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people that do a really good job at this game, including Jake Vegas Digital, did, blah, 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 Jake Vegas Digital, KP Shimano, and many others. See, that's a big one. That's about the size that the 1.2 pounder was. What's your question, Krista?
This is a decent sized one. Oh, yeah. That is an excellent question. I do not know what that is, unfortunately. Even though I am a guru of all sciences, uh, I don't googulate very often. However, if you can't find a way to do it, possibly cutting and pasting might be a... Dang it, cut the ground. Might be an option to explore. Alright, so I will be right back, guys. I'm going to try to leave you guys with some tasty permissioned jams. Oh, here recently there was a band that uh, said that they would allow any streamer to use their content. So we're going to see if this stream, if, that, if that's true or not. While I go quickly go handle a thing that needs to be handled. I mean, just a moment, guys. Just kidding, it doesn't want to work. So you guys get stock music. Anyway, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Give me a sec. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm back. For real. You hear recently there was a band called Ninja Sex Party who said that we could use their music during any stream that we so choose, whether it be Twitch or YouTube. For those of you who know Ninja Sex Party, good for you. 
Oh, nope, I do not want to leave. I sure don't. Nope. Okay, go fishing. Oh god, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. I don't know, I might be for another 23 minutes, maybe longer. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If it picks up to maybe 15 people or so, I might hang out a bit longer. Yes, come to me. Come to me, fishy fishy. Sorry, I got bored with walleye. I really do. There we go. Very quickly. Yeah. Apparently it worked. Just got two more people. <laughs> So for those of you just joining us, today we're doing a tutorial, um, oh, it will be longer because this is a live tutorial and we haven't hit, uh, we haven't hit St. Croix yet, but a tutorial on how best to earn money on Fishing Planet. Now, I'm here in Emerald Lake going after walleye at night with an arrow spoon, number four, nope, sorry, one fourth ounce, number one ought mimicking their prey, which is small fish that eat the things on the bottom, by doing a stop and go off the bottom with um, a reel speed of three. Three reels, two second or three second break. A little bit of YouTube insight, by the way. Uh, sharing this video actually does help in my, my channel analytics. It helps my search engine optimization score as well. So feel free to do so if you, if you, uh, if you so feel the need. That being said, it's time once again. It's been 21 minutes since I talked about it. Um, making these videos is a lot of fun. However, the editing software and everything else is not necessarily free and costs a bit of money. So if you feel the need to help me out, uh, then feel free to hit that um, donation button right next to where you're entering those lovely messages onto the chat. Every dollar helps. Okay, I'm done. Ah, correct you are. Uh, I'm gonna have to look because I don't I can't think of it off the top of my head however I, it's a, I want to say it's a 15 pound reel or a 12 pound reel let's see let us see it is the Callisto MG 3000 sport which is the one that you had to spend money on however the Callisto MG 3000 has roughly the same sp st st statistics, bleh. 8.8 .8 pounds of drag maximum, which makes it perfect for walleye. And, let's see here, a uh, gear ratio of 4.71. Okay, yeah. Yeah, my largest, that's a good question. I think I can check that out here. How though, how, how, how? We go to leaderboard? Okay, my fish. 
Uh, okay, yeah, you got me beat here, it looks like. Unless this is just what I've caught today. No, yeah, it's not. Now, ah, 4.6 is my record here. However, they do, they do come larger, and I have caught larger on... Hang on, give me a sec. doop a doop a doop 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 do where'd it go? Synchroy. Okay, well, I guess they reset the thing. And if they reset the thing, who knows what I had? Because my memory isn't that good. Well, this narrow spoon number two, one half ounce, hey? Eh? I'm gonna have to look into that. A lot's changed since I made the original video for this lake. <sighs> oh, my profile. I see. All right, it's gonna have to be after this cast. All right, let's check this out. Now my profile, boof. Fish records, okay. Let's see here, walleye. It's got antlers. Anyway, um. Oh, walleye, there we are. Um, a record is nine pounds and six, nine point six, yeah. 9.687 pounds. However, I'm pretty sure, since it was on Shiners, that that was on uh, St. Croix. Let's see. Anything else interesting? Yeah, okay. Skeleton fish. See, now that you're able to actually catch things on the ground, like shells and whatnot, and turtles, they need to have a record of the biggest turtle that you catch. I'm just saying. That'd be a vast improvement, in my opinion. Hello, Max. Good to see you. Again. Yes. You've been to my streams before, haven't you? Pretty sure you have. Or maybe you left a comment. I don't remember. Max Volk does seem familiar, though. Pretty sure you've been on the stream. Yeah, I knew that. Aha! Come, fishy, fishy. There we go. Well, thank you. I love... Dude, it's, it's, it's weird. Turtles are actually pretty freaking awesome. We have two here in the house. We have two pet turtles. We recently cleaned out the aquarium, or their owner did, and it was disgusting. However, uh, turtles are kind of cool.
I'm more of a lizard guy, really. I want to get a, a chameleon. A, I think it's called a cowled chameleon, the one with the little thingy on its head, and I want to name it Yondu. Like, after the dude on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that'd be pretty cool. Ah. And unfortunately, Max, you came at a pretty boring time. I absolutely hate. Well, I hate this lake. I don't hate the lake. That, that's. I just hate fishing this lake. That's all. I hate the act of this lake. All right, let's see, what time is it? It's 2.01 a.m. How am I doing? Nope, that's the wrong one. Seven point, okay, seven, eight, seven. So that's gonna be nine, 10. So I need about 8,000 more, plus a couple thousand for shiners, and I'll be good to go. I don't know. I might break this into two days. I've got... Well, yeah, that makes sense, because Monday is my normal stream day, if you guys remember from back in the day. I'm going to be starting doing uh, streams every Monday and all that. So I might break this down into a two-day process. So I can farm the rest of this crap off screen. Somebody here recently made a suggestion that I I do start doing videos on an entire lake. Like how to catch every unique available. And that sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a little bit of work, but I've been playing this game long enough. I mean I've got like almost five hundred hours on this freaking game. But I know a thing or two about a few lakes. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. If it wasn't for... Ah! Come back here. Whatever. If it wasn't for YouTube, I probably would not have played this game so long. It just got darker. Why? Does it think that I'm pressing a button? Okay, that's why. Weird, it's not doing it again. Oh, my controller's okay. Also want to know what you guys think about War Thunder. I've been thinking about doing a, a video tutorial series on that as well since it is a free-to-play game and the point of this channel is to make free-to-play games a little less pay to win i think that's an important goal for this channel and war thunder is among the top offenders for the pay to win Gotcha. It's been a minute. Nobody said anything. I'm going to check and see if my uh, if my chat is working. Uh, is disabled. Disconnected. Yes, it is disconnected. 
Let's see if I can't. There we are. Okay, good. Okay, what all did I miss? You the best. Um, hang on. I love three-toed chameleons. That move slow till it's feeding time. Yes. And War Thunder. Yeah, I'm down for some freaking War Thunder. That'd be freaking awesome. I'm just saying. Can you guys think of any other free-to-play games that might need to be brought to justice? Kind of show people how to do things without actually having to pay for it? If so, if you're watching this not live, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. And if you're here, feel free to type it in that chat window since I have it working again, apparently. Gotcha. I do have one requirement, really, and that is uh, I'm probably not going to be doing any MMOs. Uh, I've really kind of gotten burnt out on the classic MMO between EverQuest 1 and World of Warcraft. I uh, recently I gave Star Trek Online and ESO a, a a good a good shot, but I got bored. I just fell apart and wandered away. Just, that's kind of the story of my life. Fall apart, get bored, walk away. And I don't think I'd be able to give the game enough attention to do my videos justice. Alright, because I just reset it, I want to make sure it's working. Give me just a sec. Okay, good. Good stuff. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, we got about five minutes left of this stream. I'm going to go ahead and break it down into two sections. We're going to be picking this back up Monday at noon-ish. Noon-ish? Maybe no somewhere between noon and two. Um, and all that other stuff. But um, next time we're going to be taking a look at how to earn money, even more money per fish at, uh, at St. Croix. Masab, I got you. Before I leave, I got you. Give me just a moment. There it is. I see it now. Confirm. Oh, look at you, level 40 already. Good stuff. 40 and... Oh, no. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, 40 and a 3... I got one friend who's a 50 and a. What was that? 50 and a 38. Holy crap. That's RQC, though. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me, but questions, as always, still remain. For example, what is the first War Thunder video going to be about? What is the next major uh, video for this game going to be? You can find out the answers to those and more on the next episode of Von Doom Gaming. Oh wait, I almost forgot. It's been 20 minutes. I have to do it. If you guys like my videos and you want to see more and more frequently, something that really helped me out because making these videos doesn't isn't exactly free for me, is feel free to hit that donation button right there next to where you're typing in those lovely comments on the chat box. Every dollar counts. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'm going to chill here for a few for about a sec, for about a minute, catch one more fish and then I'm going to call it. Yeah. And everyone who hasn't, by the way, feel free to send me a, an in-game request for those of you who are playing on PC. Is Von Doom, all one word, all lowercase letters. Get a fishy fishy. Good stuff. Well, trophy. Good way to end it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. And that'll be it until Monday. Hopefully soon there'll be new content on this channel with all kinds of new tips and tricks to help make the uh, make the most out of a free-to-play game without actually having to spend any money. And I've already done the outro, so uh, goodbye.